Hi, and welcome back to my channel this week. This is the first clip from my new camera, the Canon G7X Mark III, and I already see like the autofocus thing over my face. There are so many cool features that this camera has that my old one didn't, and I'm so freaking excited to use it. Today is going to be episode two of the Redesigning My House series. I know I kind of cut the first episode a little short. I meant to kind of finish recording it, and I'm not sure what pieces I did and didn't get to. I was so ready to get my new camera that I was like, you know what, we're just gonna let that mess of an episode be what it was and this will be the first one that's like really good quality and really put together my passenger seat is full of so much stuff right now i'm off from work today and i'm actually gonna go do a morning <clears throat> excuse me duncan run not gonna get copyrighted so i'm gonna turn that down but just know that we're jamming to do a lipa on this amazing thursday morning i cannot wait to use all the features on this camera i feel like the theme to these redesigning my house episodes the beginning is gonna be me just talking, getting ready to go out shopping, doing some updates, you know, a couple minutes of some good intro content before we get into the actual redesigning. In the last episode, I think I talked about getting my new camera, and I feel like there was something else, but I'm forgetting. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'm officially done school. I've just been waiting for all my transfer admissions decisions to come through, and I'm like halfway through receiving them. Actually, I've received four decisions and I have four to go. Actually, my most recent decision, I didn't get on camera because I was at work. My top choice, Cornell, rejected me, but it's okay. They're super competitive. Actually, two of the four that are left are in my top three. We'll see. I actually know that those two decisions are coming within the next week because they sent emails saying like, get ready, it's coming. And I'm like, why are you telling me this when you could just tell me if I'm in or not? Because this has been like a three going on four month process at this point. That's what's going on in that realm. What else? What else? Oh, so since I'm on summer break now, which is like my first real extended summer break that I've ever had in my entire life, which is kind of cool. Like I got done school like May 5th-ish. You know, depending on the school I go to, I won't be starting school again until like August. So that's like four months of summer, which which is so insane and I'm not taking any of it for granted. That's why I jumped right into getting my new camera. I'm jumping right into this redesigning my home series. I've been using my car more than I used to before. I even did a beach trip with Jesse. We've already been to Ocean City, New Jersey. I know I usually vlog those trips, but this was just a day trip. I promise you we will be back. That's not even a question. We already have a vacation in the books to go to Ocean City again. So anyone that keeps up for those vlogs, I promise the video will be coming two for two egg and cheese wake up wraps that's what we want all right order 666 cool here i am saying my voice has been so scratchy i have a big bottle of water sitting right next to me I sound a little better. Meanwhile, Better by Khalid just came on. I actually just got this now jean from the boardwalk when me and Jesse went to Ocean City. So that's new. The shirt's new. It says Hawaii. Wish I was in Hawaii right now. That would be cool. You thought three sixes was a lot. Well, there's four on there. We have the Charlie Cold Brew. Highly, highly recommend. We have the same list that we did before. Today's objective, we're gonna try to cross like two, three things off this list, but we're gonna try to stick to a room. That'll be cool. We can kind of make it like, this is the living room episode. This is the dining room episode. This is the back porch episode. The entryway, we're actually scratching the new door wreath because the door looks better without one. And we moved it to the back room. The patio string lights, I wanted to get those, but I didn't freaking measure the back deck. You know what? I need to buy a tape measure. So I need a cheap tape measure. I need new wall pieces. I need to see if I can change out the batteries in our self-timer candles. I don't know what kind of batteries they take. I'm a mess. What kind of home interior designer makes a list of things to get and then doesn't know the specifications? I really should have planned this out better. Home Depot probably has lampshades too because I think they have a lighting section. We're gonna give them a try and who says we only have to go to one store? It's summertime or at least it feels like summertime to me. Today's gonna be a 
full on decorating day. And our first stop is gonna be Home Depot. And I think we have like $75 left in the first budget. I need to save my battery and I'll see you when I get there. found a tape measure with the help of an employee, but still. And now I'm looking for their lighting section, which is usually easy to point out because lights, there we go. They have so much here, but today's not like a big appliance day. I actually am gonna get some appliances down the road, just not today. This is so cool. The designer in me, look at that. That is so cool. Now the question is, where are the lamp shades? Because I don't know. I found the lamp shades, but why are they all so expensive? This is the one that I like the most like this gray and white blend and it's new but they're 23 each that would kind of slam my budget a little bit for this first run so i don't know i'm not sure what the normal lampshade price is so i might do some quick research maybe look on like amazon because that just seems high for a lampshade but i could be wrong so i'll see all that and I got a tape measure. So it wasn't the most successful trip, but this thing is gonna help me, you know, actually measure the things I need to measure so I can get the right items. And I ended up putting the lampshades on hold because I might just order some online. I think I'm gonna go see Julia. So I'm gonna go do that off camera and then I'm gonna go home, measure some things and then go back out. And then I'll be able to see exactly what I need. I'll probably end up doing the patio lights today. So maybe this will be the back deck episode. I'll see you then. Okay, here's the update. So I got home, broke out my tape measure from its package, and started measuring pretty much everything on my list. Those lampshades were not gonna be the right size, so thank God I put them on hold instead of impulsively buying them, as I do with many things in my life. These lights were so dusty, and the batteries needed to be changed, so that was an easy fix for free. I still need a new piece of wall art for the hallway, and this upper light fixture, which is just kind of eh, but that's gonna be more expensive, so we're saving that for another day. So what we're actually gonna do, I'm gonna take you guys, oh, holy exposure. I'm gonna take you guys outside for this. What we need to do is line the top here with string lights and line the railing here all the way down, all the way around with string lights. I measured it all out. It's gonna be expensive. The lights I found at home, not Home Depot, at Home Goods, even though they were cheap, I would need to buy like six boxes. I need 22 feet minimum for this side, 50 feet minimum to wrap this whole side. So it's gonna be a lot. However, it's gonna be worth it. And I think I'm gonna go to Lowe's and they might have lampshades too. And hopefully we're gonna find some string lights that are gonna work for us. Like I said, I still have like $75 left of my first budget. So I'm gonna try to knock out the lampshades, the kitchen rug, and hopefully these back patio lights because I'm honestly really nervous about how much they're gonna be. Still working on my iced coffee. But I feel like I've had a productive day and it's only 12 p.m. Get excited. I think I just went the wrong way, but it's fine. This has been so much fun to film already. I really hope I'm not over filming, but it's okay because I can always trim it down. All right, so I'll check in at Lowe's. Good thing I held out on the lampshades because holy crap, these are cheaper. Look at this. This is also an all white like the last one, but it actually has like a texture to it. And it's only, it's actually the same price as the other smaller ones would have been. So I think I just hit the jackpot. It's still pricey. It's gonna be like little over $45 for both, but better value than the last one would have been. Ooh, hold up, hold up. Oh my God, these. They're only $8.50 each. They're on clearance and they're huge and they're the same size. I thought I hit the jackpot before. Holy crap. And there's two of them. I don't know how I got this lucky. They were $27 each and now they're only $8.50. I'm shocked. We have found lights. There are so many options here. I feel like I'm bound to find something that's going to work. I'm now at the accent rug section where I'm trying to find a rug for the kitchen. And I found, where'd it go? Scott Living. That is the Property Brothers brand. I love the Property Brothers. Honestly, a huge part of why I'm so into home design. It makes me want to get one of their products, not going to lie but I'm struggling to find something in my price range that's gonna be big enough. So we're gonna keep looking. 
All right, so we just bought two lampshades for 16 total and this $20 mat for the kitchen, which has memory foam, mold resistant, slip resistant, all these cool features. So now, even though we can't check patio lights off the list because they ended up being too expensive, it would have been like over $90 to get all the footage I needed. We did get the lampshades and they were 16 total, not even each. And the mat for the kitchen was 20. I have like $25 left in my first budget and I'm gonna use that hopefully to get some pieces for the wall. I really liked this welcome vertical sign, but it was $30 and it looked like something I could honestly make myself. So I might do that. This place inspired me. I'm gonna keep drinking this drink cause it's held up for like five hours. And we're gonna go to another home decor store and hopefully find some wall pieces and that'll round out the rest of this budget. And and next time, hopefully, we'll have enough to cover the string lights and even get some bigger furniture pieces. So let's go! Okay, I have burned through my first hundred dollars for this project. I ended up wrapping up my last $25 on this letter organizer since we need a new system for our mail. And in place of the pin board in our kitchen, I'm gonna put this cute little lemon picture. This was only $10 and this was, I think like 13. Literally came within the dollar of going over, but we stayed under. Also, the girl who was checking me out and her twin recognized me from a sleepover party that we went to when I was in like, like fourth grade. It was so nice to catch up with her because we didn't really actually I don't even think we went to the same school but we went to like CCD together for church. Just a little fun information there but she was so sweet and I couldn't believe she recognized me and I recognized her too. I'm gonna update my list. Kitchen replace pin board with something useful. Yeah no we're just going with a picture. So for the hundred dollar budget and I'm gonna include everything that I did for free because some of the things I needed to change out were already in my home. I changed out the self timer candles in our entryway bought new lampshades for the living room I bought new dish towels for the kitchen I bought a new rug for the kitchen I bought a new picture for the kitchen changed out our mail system got a new wreath for the back room bought a new decor piece for the outdoor table and I think that was it but it feels like a lot for a hundred dollars and a lot of that stuff is new I'm gonna go home put all my new finds in place and we'll do a cute little before and after and then I'm going to meet up with my dad and we're gonna go over how much I'm gonna need for the second part of the budget and then we're gonna start knocking out some big ticket items so I'll see you back at the house so here's the before of the living room with my dog. So what we're doing today is changing out these two lampshades. So we have that Look at how much better and brighter compared to that. That looks so good. And it doesn't take up as much space. It looks so much better than it did before. So I'm super excited about that. And now I think I'm gonna change out the kitchen rug next. Let's do a kitchen before and after. So this is the before of the kitchen. My dog's drinking in the background, but I already added the dish towel and that made like almost no difference. We just needed a dish towel. So right now we're gonna take the new mat that I bought and replace it with this one because it just does not look that inviting. Let's change it. That looks so much better. And it makes the floor and even the kitchen look bigger. Next, we're gonna take this area, put our new piece of wall art on here. And there we have the new piece. It just looks a lot simpler. And it's gonna go with the brighter theme that I'm going for with the kitchen. And maybe we'll find another use for the pin board, but either way, I think that's a much neater use of the space. Next, we're gonna move the mail out of the kitchen for good. This has been a long time in the making. It's this little shelving unit that says letters. And we're gonna put it either in the back of the dining room, somewhere back here, or I was also thinking maybe it would look cool underneath the lemons, but my dad did not want the papers in the kitchen, so. All right, so over here we have the new letters and mail station. This house is already looking so much better. So with that, I'm gonna close out this video, my first video on my new camera. If you enjoyed watching, please don't forget to give this video a like, comment what you think, tell me what you wanna see in the future now that it's just about summertime. I cannot wait to keep going with this redesigning my house series, and I will see you next time. Bye. Fall into a better situation. Catch up.
<laughs> Ketchup. Right, Coco? 